So the gasket I've been waiting on came in. So this is the this would be the OEM gasket if you were just doing a standard replacement. Um, so here's the mounting plate, and you can tell here's the the larger side because you can see the the contour, and this is the small side. So this is the side that's going to mount against the OEM intake manifold. So as you can see, the gasket fits that like it's supposed to. All right. And then this is the bigger gasket. And this is going to go on this side. And it fits nicely. All right, well, that's a lot of line. Okay. So now we're going to remove the uh, throttle body from the car. Try to mount up this guy. And see, um, see if we run into any issues with the linkage. <clears throat> One thing I noticed is this link, this throttle body does not have a provision for uh, cruise control. So I may just swap over the linkage and uh, go from there. Okay, to start removing this, um, the four bolts that hold on the throttle body, I did spray them with uh, penetrating oil because they were very tight. So when I do reinstall the next one, um, I'm gonna make sure I put like anti-seize um, on the threads as, as they go into the aluminum intake manifold. But the first piece is really getting rid of this intake tube just to get it out of the way. I'm just going to take this boot and just lower it out of the way for now, I think. Keep all the vacuum lines and everything on it. And then it's a six millimeter hex, these bolts here. couple little things the my um, cruise control this little bushing is broken here so this comes right off um, so it's not gonna be an issue holding it on the throttle cable I'm gonna leave it where it is and when the throttle body comes loose I'll just pop off the little ball fitting here and then I will remove this um, the little micro switch here with the bracket once it's loose so I could get a screwdriver on those uh, two little screws that hold that on Four bolts. That way it comes off. Vacuum line.
So there it is. Off it comes. It's a little, you know, oil blowback, I guess, or blow by in there. Um, but not that bad. So here's what it looks like once the throttle body's removed. There you can see the opening to the uh, on the intake manifold. So here's the removed throttle body. Here's what we're upgrading to. So comparison to comparison. If you look, you can see how much bigger the, the primary um, butterfly is on this guy. A um, couple of little differences. Um, you'll see that this, the OEM one has this whole other spring assembly. Um, and it has a provision for um, cruise control. So this sits in here um, and my upgraded throttle body does not have that. So I can swap all this linkage over by taking this nut off, it all comes out, take the butterfly off and swap it over. But honestly, I um, I went ahead and removed the cruise control assembly anyway, um, just because one, I don't use it. Two, it's just another, you know, couple of places where a, a vacuum leak can, uh, can form. Um, the other major difference is you'll notice the OEM one has this uh, wide open throttle switch. So what happens is under full throttle and it's actually not engaging. So it's adjustable using these two screws, but under full throttle, this is supposed to um, click on and it uh, provides fuel enrichment under full throttle. So I have to move this over to this throttle body. And something I noticed was I saw the holes and I'm like, oh, the, you know, the provisions right there should be a simple swap. But um, then I realized these holes are not threaded. So I'll show you. I'm gonna remove this bracket. So there's the bracket, and it should mount right there, right? The holes are there and everything. But as I mentioned, the holes are not threaded. So I actually took a look at these screws, and they are um, M5, I believe. Um, M5 by uh, 0.8 is the, uh, the pitch on these threads. Um, and so I have a tap here and I have the correct size drill bit for this tap. I'm not even sure if I need it. The holes might be the correct size, but this is an 1164 bit. So that no, just barely doesn't fit in there. So put this on my drill. Not go too deep, um, and then. my little tap here and I have a little bit of oil and then I have this uh, ratcheting tap handle Out with it. 
test that out with the screw. Perfect. So the question is, does it go deep enough? Looks good. That looks good. So now we'll tap the other one as well. There you go. Put a little anti seize on these bolts since they're going in, or these screws since they're going into aluminum. Tight. So again, for the adjustment, which I'll do also on the car when I test it and actually, you know, push down on the accelerator, but you can see that's not hitting. It's not actuating the, the switch. So these actually sit into, it's like a grooved or slotted assembly. The screwdriver's too big. So to adjust these. Loosen it, just half turn, it should move, nope, not yet. Okay, so now it moves, it's adjustable. So what I wanna do is put this under full load. Looks like it engages a little too early. You can see, and you can hear the switch engaging when it hits. So we're going to snug that up. And then verify that this is actually still happening once it's installed in the car. That's it. Again. You can hear the switch engaging. That's it. Now we're ready to install with our gaskets. Um, so these are the original bolts that came off. These are M8 uh, bolts um, that are 40 millimeters long. So I had to go to the hardware store, you know, your box store, and get 50 millimeter. So M8, but 50 millimeter long to compensate for the the thickness of the adapter all right so it's installation time here so um here's the throttle body this is the orientation it goes in so it's really simple to reconnect there's a little vacuum line back here that goes to the little port on the throttle body and then the trickiest part is kind of trying to manage the gaskets and everything as they're all sandwiched here um, with the adapter. So it's the large gasket goes against the throttle body itself. Here's the 50 millimeter hardware. I've already put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads um, 
but I'm going to use the bolt to kind of locate everything so it doesn't, so we don't ruin the gaskets or anything get out of uh, shape. Here's the adapter. The large opening goes towards the larger throttle body. And then we go in with the smaller gasket. Okay. And that's it. I'm going to try to line it up. And uh, get a couple threads started. And then realign the gaskets and everything. And see if we could get this without um, any issues. So just tightening it by hand. Get it started. As you can see. Okay, that got started, but you can see the gasket's all sticking out there. So let me move this, make sure this is out of the way. Um, I'm just gonna kind of align the gaskets the best I can. Get another one of the screws. Went there, went there. So we're through the first gasket, but not through the second correctly. Good. These bolts I found were the six millimeter hex, just like the OEM ones. So that's really it. The little electrical connectors go back on to the switch. The little plastic piece that slid back. Last thing is the little the throttle um, ball. There, it's on. That's really it. I'm gonna reconnect the uh, boot, but first I wanna depress the throttle and make sure the butterflies are wide open at, at wide open throttle. So we're gonna pedal to the floor. Okay, 
So I'm confirming the butterflies are completely open and the wide open throttle switch is engaged. All right, slowly release. Perfect. Okay, very good. So the last piece of buttoning everything up is Actually, because this is the mouth of this throttle body is actually significantly larger, we have to open open the clamp up. Boot on there. Make sure it's seated correctly. Now we gotta put the intake tube on. So same thing, I'm gonna loosen up this clamp. Okay, the boots on. So now I just want to take a quick look through and make sure I didn't knock any vacuum lines off. Everything here is tight. This side replaced. I don't remember if I tightened this. Yes, I did. Cap there. All right, looks like we could uh, start her up. And if anything, we'll have to adjust the uh, idle speed. But that's really it. Make sure I didn't knock the leads off the coil. I hope they still look good. The ground wire looks good. That's it. Put the starter up. Okay. So here's the, the final product. See, 
the spacer, the throttle body, um, the wide open throttle switch is all set up and uh, adjusted properly. Um, we just took it for a little road test and it, uh, it ran really well. The idle is still a hair high, so I'll adjust that, but um, we were actually pleasantly surprised by the throttle response and the little bit of zip it gave it. And again, I don't know if that's the throttle body itself, but as part of this as well, I redid the uh, injector. I cleaned up the fuel injectors and uh, resealed them. Um, you know, same thing, cleaned up the throttle body, cleaned everything I had a chance to clean. Um, but that's really it. I'll do more of a road test video soon. Um, as soon as we have some decent weather, take the, the cabbie out, and I'll do kind of like a walk through the whole car. But um, there you go.